Hello all. In this video, we will see how to implement and test Arduino core onto the new Raspberry Pi Pico W wireless module. Generally, uh, Raspberry Pi Pico W comes without headers. We can easily solder the header pins like this. 40 pin bulk stick. We can uh, plug it onto your breadboard and place the Raspberry Pi Pico board onto this. And uh, you can easily solder like this. First, let us uh, reset the flash memory of Raspberry Pi Pico W. For this, visit the Raspberry Pi official website and scroll down to download the UF2 file. This UF2 file is different from that of MicroPython file we used in the previous video. This is actually USB flash format file, flash new UF2. This is for resetting the flash memory. Now press hold the boot cell button on the Pico W. Yeah, mass storage uh, will up here which is named as rpa-rp2 and then drag and drop the uf2 file uf2 flash new uf2 file onto this mass storage device rpa-rp2 now the module is reset to factory condition next we'll install the arduino core for pico w go to the github page of uh, fillover yes develop the arduino core for uh, pico w actually arduino core is developed by fillover for all types of RP2040 boards. It supports huge list of uh, RP2040 boards. Scroll down in this uh, GitHub page and uh, copy the JSON link and then open the Arduino ID. We are using Arduino ID 2, the latest version. Go to File, Preferences and then uh, under the Additional Boards Manager URLs, paste the JSON link control V to paste if already it is occupied you can click on the next uh, icon and then add the URL next you have to uh, add the uh, board manager click on the uh, board manager and search for Pico RP2040 and uh, select the uh, Raspberry Pi Pico RP2040 scroll down to see the install button and click on the install button to install the board manager for Pico RP2040. You accept any uh, driver installation when asked. After some time, you get the notification successfully install platform RPA Pico RP2040. Now go to the tools board and then select the Raspberry Pi Pico RP2040. Under this, there is a huge list of supported devices, including uh, Raspberry Pi Pico, Pico W, Add a fruit fe feather RP2040, Arduino Nano RP2040, Spark Fun Pro Mini, Pro Micro RP2040, to name a few. Select the board as uh, Raspberry Pi Pico W. Now, next is to select the port. Go to Tools Port. Now it is shown as UF2 board. Select that. So, to upload your first uh, sketch, you need to hold the boot cell button while plugging the Pico to the PC. Now the port will be allotted. Once the port is allotted, you can easily upload the sketch onto your uh, Pico W. Only the first time you have to press the boot cell button. Now from the file examples, load the Blink sketch. It will open up a new window. You can see the built-in LED is referred as uh, LED underscore built-in. Do not change this, just the uh, built-in LED is not GPU 25 as in regular Pico in Pico W it is connected to Infineon chip so leave it as uh, LED underscore built-in and then uh, make sure that the proper port is selected and the board is Pico W and then click on upload so this Arduino Pico core has got auto reset support so you can see at the bottom the port disconnects and then after uh, uploading code it will connect back automatically so this is the auto reset function once you select the com port it allows auto reset tool to identify the proper device to reset so once the port appears back again you can see the code has been uploaded when the port is not allotted you cannot upload it will give error you can see the onboard led blinking according to the blink code now let us pull out the USB cable and connect back again. The code uh, runs again. So it, the code has been uploaded to the flash. 
now let us check the Wi-Fi capability of the Pico W module go to examples Wi-Fi and then load the scan networks code it is built-in Wi-Fi code for scanning the surrounding networks it uses the Wi-Fi dot H header file which is Wi-Fi library for old Arduino Wi-Fi shield it is used here under wide setup we start the serial dot begin at 115 200 baud and under the void loop we use the scan network function of the Wi-Fi class to search for the surrounding networks and uh, print the result now select the proper board and then port and then click on upload now you can see the auto reset function of the Pico core in action the port will vanish and then when the code is uploaded the port will appear again once the code is uploaded uh, open the serial monitor by clicking on the serial window serial icon on the top and select the board rate as 115200 now you can see the surrounding Wi-Fi networks being printed so I'm having only one network surrounding to me that is Airtel zero touch it is being printed along with the BSSID address and then the channel number and the RSSI which is the signal strength so every 5 seconds according to the code according to the delay it will uh, print the surrounding Wi-Fi network now let us uh, see how to connect with this uh, network that is Airtel Zero Touch let us see how to connect click on file new to open a new window and verify the hardware is Raspberry Pi Pico W and on the top include the wifi.h header file this is the library for Arduino Wi-Fi shield old library but very effective and then we store the constant char variable SSID name and then the password of that SSID to which we are going to connect and under wide setup we start the serial monitor at 115200 baud and then we use the mode function of the Wi-Fi class to declare the mode as Wi-Fi underscore STA we are going to use the Pico W as client or station which will connect with the access point given in the SSID next we use the begin function of the Wi-Fi class which will initialize the network settings with the SSID and the password given once uh, it is connected it will return WL connected so uh, we use the while condition to check the status we use the status function of the Wi-Fi class to see whether uh, it has been connected with the SSID so till that Wi-Fi dot status is not equal to WL underscore connected it will print a dot every 500 millisecond again we include a delay of 500 millisecond so for total one second every one second it will print a dot till it gets connected with the SSID uh, given in the char variable above once it is connected uh, we'll print the SSID name so for that we'll use the serial dot print and then we print some message and then finally we use the Wi-Fi dot uh, SSID that is the SSID function of the Wi-Fi class which gets the SSID of the current network it returns a string containing the name of the network so we just uh, print the name of the SSID using Wi-Fi dot SSID and uh, finally inside the wide loop we provide a delay of uh, 2000 millisecond and uh, uh, we print a message and we use uh, the serial dot uh, print line and we use the local IP function of the Wi-Fi class to print the IP address that has been that has been allotted to the Pico W. So save this file, save this file, and then click on upload. So while uploading, you can see the auto reset function in action if USB port does not respond to the auto uh, reset request follow the initial procedure of holding boot cell button while plugging into the uh, plugging into USB to enter the ROM bootloader once the code is uploaded click on the serial monitor and then uh, select the 115200 board you can see the 
uh, IP address being printed. It is 192.168.1.25. So according to the gateway IP, only the last octet is changed. So finally we get the IP address. Thank you for watching.